Welcome back to the Augury House Radio. I am your host, the Augury House. And we are actually going through a pretty cool transitional period right now. Uh, We're about to add a bunch of new things to our creative ecosystem, including zines, which will be for purchase both digitally and physically. And we are also developing, we have a website and spaces on our website for web articles and blog spaces. So this will be a great way to just keep in touch of, you know, just like the various ideas that are flowing around our heads, various things that we're working on, various things that we're planning. And so essentially between the radio, the game, the Aubrey House game, the the website, our YouTube, and everything else, we, what we're really going for is just something that will be a catch-all for all of our strange experiments, ideas, and so on. So, we're, I'm here with Ben again. Yeah, 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 um, welcome everybody, uh, again, uh, as, as, uh, as I was introduced, uh, I'm the other Ben, not to get uh, mixed up with, you know, uh, producer level Ben, because that's a much lower level Ben, you know, uh, yeah, it's kinda, yeah, yeah. you Don't know, rude, up, but... you know, uh, but, um, but, um, oh, well, uh, actually, continue, continue, uh, I have, yeah, I have sure. to add at a point, but, um, yeah, so, but, uh, you know, if we got some, oh, well, well, uh, we, we've talked about well, it lately. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was uh, going to be telling something? them about, you know, look, we're starting a bunch oh, of new God. projects. Uh, you're going you're gonna to be seeing them in the summer and stuff. And one of these being, uh, we're actually going to be, uh, our next big project is called Shrines. And that's going to give us actually a sneak peek into the Augury life forms and how we're created. You know, I, I always felt a little bit weird about having to explain to every person that I meet, like, what an Augury life form is, you know? It's like, I, like why do I have to carry the, the like, the burden of explaining all, all everything about me? Like, well, I, like, I don't know. It's like, as a Augury person, you would hope other people kind of knew about you, so the conversations you have wouldn't just be about, you know, like, the Augury person, Augury person kind of thing. I, I bet, Ben, you've had some experiences like that, but, but, you know, I, I, from from what we've been talking about and like how we've been following the recent trends in Augury Life Form research, we really just started and make a lot more sense if we start a shrine series that kind of dug a little deeper into what the Augury Life Forms are, how we came about, why we're kind of, you know, just why we are the way we are. And I'm not gonna be diving too deep into the science right now, but uh, one thing to kind of help kick this, uh, this, this Shrine series off is, well, what the Shrine series really is, is, is this, like a big collection of research and, um, uh, following different trends of, you know, where Augury life forms are appearing in the wild, what, what they're doing, what they're up to. And, uh, this next episode actually kind of digs right into that. Kevin and Ben, we sent them on a mission to, uh, you know, we negotiated to send them on this mission to 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 to, to hunt, you know, like get some data on 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 on, on all your life forms. Well, well, the the other thing too is uh, we we heard of you know what was going around. Um, was that was that something sent in or remember yeah, we, we yeah, heard yeah, the so thing about the frogs? backstory. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there was some backstory we the loud here and frogs. We were monitoring this actual for. Uh, you know, a few months, or no, actually a couple of years because of the frog cycles, yeah. So, you know, over in Western, yeah, yeah, like Western Oregon, what we notice, cycle. or what people have been reaching out to us about is that there's a lot of sightings of or hearings of frogs in these ponds, and, and you know, these suburban ponds, which, you know, these, these ponds shouldn't be real real conductive for life in the first place, you know, they're just surrounded by, by roads, street, street runoffs, yeah. They're, they're just ponds. Uh, but, no, no. Right, uh, right, they're people, not people looking fight or hear a lot of frogs, like they're like a whole city of frogs, but the strange thing is, is when you actually go back there and poke around when all the, the frogs are all in their croaking and stuff, you never actually find any. And so we figured, huh. Either these are really, really sneaky frogs, 
or this could be evidence of some angry life form that's just right under our noses. And so what this, this next shrine is going to be about is really just going to be uncovering, like, what's the truth? What's the truth behind this? And, you know, although this episode, spoiler alert, there's no real conclu- like actual conclusions, but we're taking a step in the right direction. We're really hoping that, you know, the shrine series uh, between the, the research that goes into that can really be a catch-all for, for research going forward, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you said it. You said it. I don't want to, you know, like spoil too much about, uh, you know, what's, what's further to come in the episode. But, um, you know, uh, especially, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, I think, I think this spot is becoming more and more known. You know, as we speak. Um, like, like we said, uh, we meet a. A cool researcher person in the, in the video who, you know, who who just like yourself never never knew about the Augury life form and and you know um and now and now they're you know staying around and they're researching it and you know maybe if we're lucky we, we hear back from them but I guess not just like that you know maybe maybe we hear about this more in other places too you know maybe it's not just happening in this one spot or if it is happening in this one spot you know. Um, maybe, maybe it gets more popularized and, you know, people yeah, start yeah, to understand. I, I just don't want to dive too far into the, the speculating and the, the talculating and stuff because, like, one of the things about this is, I, like, I, I almost kind of worry, like, have we said too much be- because, you know, it's almost like listening to a conversation when you don't really, like, kind of just, like, you're at a cafe and you're, like, listening to a conversation that's next to you or if you're just, like, jumping in in the conversation in general between even like people you know sometimes that can be a little confusing but 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 yeah, but, yeah. but to reduce any confusion and if there is any confusion at all for this episode we'd really want to just you know say that that yeah new things are coming right i mean like yeah 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 i'm i'm, I'm, I'm yeah yeah, yeah uh, all right well like i guess we should probably please. just god just go go forward with this episode. Ben and Kevin been like, been winning. And Kevin but can be like a little rambunctious lately. So, I guess we're 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 just just stalling a little. But um, yeah, if if, if, if true, hey, they they were they were asking you know for a yeah, new project. Yeah. They were they were begging so much. I saw you know all those those notes they yeah, left yeah. you about doing something new and yeah, well they should yeah, be, they should be happy you know whatever. But you know like. Uh, if we're confused now, things will clear up in the future. There, we have we have a lot come. We have a backlog. We have, you know, things to talk about, things to 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 explore. A bunch of angry people, angry life forms like us. So you know, just stay tuned. And then with that, Ben, do you want to leave us with any notes before heading off to the episode? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, we'll hang around here yeah, and we'll catch you around right, the right, 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 we'll 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 Hey, Augury House, it's Kevin and Ben again, and we are just, you know, um, it's going to be us, it's going to be us for now on. Uh, there's really not much more to say beyond that, but we're out here because we've got some calls. Uh, so, you know, we're, well, like we, aside from doing our collaborations, our game stuff, we also do a lot of research too. So one of the things we've been researching are the Augury life forms. Have you probably seen who, uh, that one guy who's been on this radio for a little bit? Uh, the, the gold face guy, you know? Oh, the gold face. Yeah, you've heard of him. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And dude, the new hire. Oh, the, the new hire. Yeah, the yeah. The new hire. Ben. Uh, ben. Ben. Yeah, but that, so, that guy. yeah, those, those are Augury life forms. And the way Augury life forms work is there's these deep caves and, you know, these really deep caves where like these augury weird life form things take life 
begin to, you know, they begin to grow. Um, not much is known about them, obviously. Otherwise, we wouldn't be researching them. But that's why, that's why we're here. That's why we're in the field right now. So what we're doing is apparently around here, there has been an angry life form that has been posing as a frog. Now, I know it's kind of hard to believe, but there's actually a lot of frog ponds in this area. We're currently, you know, Western Oregon, a little uh, grasslandy, suburby, whatever. Rainy. Rainy, rainy, rainy. yeah, yeah, it's a lot of slipperies. But um, we've been getting calls of, of like, there's a bunch of frog ponds out here, but not a lot of people are seeing frogs, but there's like, you'd go to a pond and you'd hear just tons of frogs through like the whole night. And so what we've really gotten thinking when, when we got that call is like, shoot, that sounds a lot like, you know, the abnormalities that would come with just like a regular augury life form. So that's what we're out here to kind of research. And one really big part of that research is getting uh, someone who knows more about it than us. And so for that, we do have an official spokesperson, research person, assistant, university level doing all, you know, that kind of reading and researching in the field, kind of like what we're doing. And so we're really excited to have that that person on and kind of talk more about the whole Augury life form sort of deal. And for that, we have... Uh, yeah, so uh, come, come on, come on over. Uh, Research yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, Ben. Oh, I'll yeah, step so aside. Uh, no, here, here, Mike, mic, so you could talk right into the front side. You could hold it like this. Cool, cool. Okay. So, um, uh, could you introduce yourself? Um, yeah, um, I'm Peyton, and I'm here to help with some herpetology research that I was called to help for. Um, we're just gonna be looking for some frogs over here. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so, what what do you know about the Augury House uh, life form? I honestly don't know anything. Hmm. She doesn't. She's not up to date. Okay. Well, um, no. So, uh, no. It's it's cool. Uh. Well, so I guess we could still make a uh, very good use, you know, that you're here. Uh, you know, we stay on our toes. So what we could still do is, um, you know, quick rundown, just like, uh, you know, Kevin over there said, there's been, you know, soundings of frogs coming from this neighborhood, you know, these surrounding areas. And uh, yeah, people have been complaining that, you know, there's, there's a lot of frog noise, but no frogs. Um, so, so I guess you might not be able to help in the sense of, you know, uh, understanding, you know, the augury life form, but, you know, you could probably help us, you know, see about these frogs maybe, you know, like, if you know how to catch frogs, maybe you could try to help us catch these unknown frogs, or not. Yeah, I guess I could help out with that. Yeah, so, okay, uh, we're still going to be in this then, uh, cool. Yeah. What's my favorite? Is your equipment? Yes. Oh, equipment. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to go grab my equipment? Equipment. Yes, yes. We need equipment. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I could hold. Um, yeah. So while I'm holding the mic and our researcher, expert researchers grabbing the equipment, um, so, uh, you know, small, small bump in the road, but you know, we're, we're, we're gonna still push through and we're gonna, you know, create a good episode uh, eight here for you guys. Uh, you know, I still, I still think that we are easily gonna be able to, um, oh, okay. You know, I easily think that, you know, with researchers help and, you know, our expertise of, you know, Augury House, I think we'll be able to, you know, find some, find find this life form or you know i i i hope uh i don't i didn't you might be a skeptic i guess like you're a researcher like with with the school knowledge what do you think do you do you think it's true but we'll get into your okay. equipment too i mean is there something that's gonna make this life form different than the other frogs like how are we gonna know that well so the thing that i was thinking of instantly off the bat is 
if you like you know are a frog researcher person you know i guess maybe not an augury house frog life form researcher you could still help us in you know finding some frogs right yes so what i'm thinking here is that if you could help us find some frogs at least then you know that could help us you know discover you know are are there actually frogs here or is it just sound you know what i mean okay okay yeah awesome so let's um see what do, what do we got here uh you got some equipment got some pretty cool equipment we got um this little container that we can put the specimens in mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. capture them mm -hmm. and we've got this little net to help S us okay so so what size uh frogs are you thinking are around here maybe maybe I you've mean, done some research about the area um right now it's springtime so that's primal time for egg laying and mating season so mm -hmm. i'm thinking we're probably going to see more tadpoles we may see some small freshly turned into frog adult spawn there may potentially be some bigger ones but that's why we have such a small net is because i'm expecting to only see really small ones around here oh okay okay so so i guess out of a curiosity why why small ones why not any bigger do the big ones get ate on or like perhaps maybe stepped on i mean it depends on where we're looking if we're gonna be looking in more like fast moving waters there's probably going to be bigger ones around there but if we're going towards like a more stagnant pond area we're probably going to find a lot more smaller ones since that's where they usually lay their eggs and where the tadpoles are going to be raised so it just depends on what type of water we're looking at okay sweet and um i guess i didn't know um i I guess we never asked, you know, we got to like cut off, but um, what are you to this, this area? Are you like a local around here? You know, you know, me and, uh, me and Kevin were fresh to this area, you know, like just, just flew in from a couple cities over. So, um, yeah, pretty new area. Yeah. So are you around um, here or? Yeah, no, I typically do my research around here. I'm at the university over mm -hmm. here. So this is just some like independent research that I do on my own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and, like, is there anything to, like, plug, like, websites, YouTubes, anything like that, Instagrams? Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, not yeah. everybody needs to be known anywhere. That's totally fine. Um, I wish we could do, like, call-ins right now and get some, like, better questions because, you know, I'm not that smart. But um, one question I guess I do have is... You know, we've been here the last three, three, four days. So, what, what about this train? We came in; it was like pretty wet. Um, is that good or bad? Uh, the last two days, it's been sunny. Yeah, I think the the rain, the rain that we had a couple of days ago, will be a good a good sign because the frogs do better with a wet environment. So we might potentially see a few more out right now. I'm a little nervous that it is a little more drier than I would have hoped to find some because they typically come out when it's more wet but it's still pretty marshy in this area so there's still potential that we could see some oh okay okay sweet sweet okay well um i guess um i guess uh we could start you know start on discovering this you know let's um let's cut to let's get rolling um do we have anything else to, uh do you got anything to say cowabunga cowabunga do you got anything to say before we go Let's find some frogs. All right, let's fill up that net in that container. <laughs> cool. A little bit later. Welcome back to the Augury House Radio 8. And woo, I am, I am tired. Wow, I don't know how you feel. Um... Long, long day. Sorry to cut you off. No, go ahead. yeah, a long day, but that's what we do in the field. We go out and we we do the research. I guess so. that's probably like every day for you, huh? It's just every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You obviously got much better boots than I do. Um, okay, so I guess a uh, summary of the episode in case, I don't know, you were maybe cleaning or your vacuum was on during little pieces and you don't know every part. Um, that's what we're going to summarize slightly. Um, so, you know, we went around to a few different spots and, uh, you know, at the first one, you know, wasn't, wasn't the hottest, but, uh, you know, we, we, we got our feet wet. Um, I guess, what'd you think of the first spot? 
Yeah, I mean, we didn't really find anything at the first spot, but it was still a good indicator of the environment around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. So the first one was not the best. I'll I'll admit with you. Um, I mean, that's the thing about research, though, is even if you don't find anything, it's still still a viable part of the research. Even if we didn't find anything, it's still good things to note. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Well, um, we obviously had the second part too. Um, you know, the second part uh, didn't didn't turn out bad. Yeah. We so, got um, some. if you guys didn't see, we did get some frog scene. Um, but I don't know. I definitely feel like uh, you guys could, you know, maybe hit us in the calls. Uh, I know we don't got too long. We're on a time crunch here. But um, you guys could hit us in the calls and let us know what you guys, you know, think about. Uh, was this, um, you know, did you hear? Did you hear more frogs than what we saw? What do you guys think? What, what do you honestly think? I think we definitely heard a lot more than what we saw, which was quite interesting. You know, you'd think you would see more yeah. with how loud it was. Okay. Yeah, so it's um, very interesting, actually, to get this take from somebody who's brand new, you know? So this is a fresh, fresh, straight, hot take you're, uh, you're getting right from the Augury Radio. Uh, whoo, I'm beat. Um, cool. So, Miss Peyton Kimmel, thank you so much for being on the show. Um, wait, what? 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 The Augury Life Form. Yeah. Did I say that? She proved it. How? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah, yeah. Would you... Wait, what? That the Aubrey's are real. Yeah. I can't say for certain. Well, I guess... Okay, not to cut off, but um, leading into what I was actually about to say is... uh. You know, you have your time, and you said you do this in your independent free time while you go to school somewhere nearby. So, um, are you going to be back here? What What are you going to do? Because, you know... You know, I definitely want to put some of my other research on pause right now, because some of the things we noted out here were very interesting, and I, yeah. I wasn't aware of this situation in this area, but I think I definitely want to come back and try to look into it more myself. Wow, yeah. No, awesome. It was just so, so awesome that... Uh, you know, just guys like us, regular podcast guys, were able to, you know, get on and, you know, meet an actual, uh, you know, researcher person. But um, that's the thing. I guess one thing to ask you is, with your research and gathering, are you going to be calling into the the Augury House Radio and giving us, you know, updates? You know, because maybe we could yeah, for sure. do something. Yeah. We could run it back if you, definitely, you give us some have, more info. Um, I definitely have some samples I want to take home and run in the laboratory, so I'll definitely okay. call you back when I get those samples back, but I'll definitely come out and get oh. some more samples soon as well. All right. Well, you hear, heard it first. Trending. Trending right right here in the western side of Oregon. The Augury life form might might be here. Um, so again, reporting from the Augury House Radio episode 8, we will be seeing you in episode 9 from Ben, Kevin, and researcher Peyton. Uh, is there anything else you'd want to say? It was nice doing the research for you guys. Okay. All right. Well, well thank you guys. Uh, well, this has been another episode of the Augury House. Um, I'll see you guys later. Hey, you here to see the Augury House? Yeah, they're uh, waiting for you behind the bar. Hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that conversation between Kevin, Ben, and Peyton Kimmel. As we mentioned in, earlier in this episode, uh, what you just saw was a precursor to a brand new project that's going to be coming to the Aubrey House ecosystem, which gives uh, a, a backstory and kind of uh, shares insight into the ongoing research that goes on behind the Aubrey life forms and as you're probably aware as, as if you've been uh, tuned in to conversations about the Augury life form, you probably know a little bit 
already about what they are and how they came about. Just to give a little quick overview is, you know, the, the Augury life forms, they, they begin deep, deep in these earth, deep earth caves, caves. And as these caves start to form, uh, you know, these Augury life forms are very, very sensitive and they send out uh, information in the form of these data streams that can be actually tapped into via via online servers and those and these data streams are two way so they bounce back and you know whatever comes back kind of informs and shapes the the Aubrey life form that will then arise and you know that's just a very quick brief brief overview probably if you don't know much about Aubrey life forms you probably still have a bunch of questions but hopefully a bunch of these questions that you might have will be answered once this new Shrines project gets released. And, uh, but, as you can probably tell, I got called into work, you know, it's a very, it's been a very, very busy week. Uh, there's been a bug floating around the restaurant, there are like a lot of people coming in, a lot of people, sick people, so, you know, it's been floating, I'm, I'm, I'm in my best, doing my best to try to stay healthy, but, a lot of people called out today, so I just figured that I'd just, you know, I'd take the shift. Don't want to put too much pressure on the boss, so that's what happened. That's kind of what happened with this episode, which is probably why it's a little bit shorter today. But, you know, we're working on things. We're trying to get into, uh, into a better rhythm, so you're going to see a lot of that happening over these next few episodes of just things transitioning, projects turning over into new leaves. As, uh, as one big part of these expansions to our current projects, like uh, the, the shrines and then the web articles, all this is really to, to move towards the path of going more multimedia instead of Unreal Engine specific. So we're kind of, we're expanding outside of purely the, the game space, the digital space, and we are spreading our wings a little bit, but as we're doing that, of course, uh, there, there will be this slight period of just adjusting. So, bear with us, and you know we'll we'll take you all for the ride. We have a lot of stuff geared up for the future, so we're very, very excited about that. I've been working with Ben and Kevin and Ben about you know just figuring out new structures for our work, new ways to think about and talk about what we're doing. So, one thing to kind of expect moving forward is just more of what we already kind of got, you know, we're just going to keep playing around with what we have, the forms of uh, playing around, experimenting with what our works look like, what they can encompass, what they can be, uh, playing with new avenues of where, just just where where our projects can go, and uh, as, we're, as we're entering this new phase, yeah, just just keep on your toes because you never know where we're gonna go. We have we're thinking of bringing back some USB drives too. If we're gonna, I don't know if this is saying too much, but we're bringing back we're coining back the idea of selling little games on USB sticks that, that could also be paired with some zines or some videos or photos or things like that. So we're very excited about the potentials of of that sort of deal and to say a little bit more, which I'm probably saying completely too much now is we do have some heat press ideas we do have a working heat press so we're thinking about doing more physical things in the future but first we're going to open up uh, a shop and i'm definitely saying too much at this point but we're open up reopening a shop for um for 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 yeah i'm just going to cut it off there you know i i, I have to you know jump jump back on my work shift but, yeah, so, uh, so to be on the lookout is for the, the our, our new shrine project coming in the near future. Uh, the middle part of the expedition of the, the research of Ben, Kevin, and Peyton, the actual meat of them going out in the field and looking for the, these frogs and the Augury life forms, as you probably noticed in this radio, that was kind of cut out. We only got the beginning and the end bit of it. But um, rest assured, you will see the middle part when it comes out. We'll let you know. That will be a part of the, um, 
the web's the the web shine version, which it probably doesn't make any sense to y'all at all right now, but rest assured that missing video that was missing in this episode will be very unmissing in the near future, so before things get too much confusing, I think I should probably end it here. Uh clock back on on my shift. This is actually during my my uh, my my 30, so it's kind of, you know, I I, I, I do plan on eating a little bit, uh, so so yeah, we'll see you next time. All right.